It's Tuesday, August 2nd, 2011. I'm Wilson Tang on CNET.com, and it's time to get loaded. Apple launched iCloud for developers to test. The new site confirms that Apple will be supporting web apps for its new iCloud service. iCloud.com features new web apps for mail, calendar, contacts, Find My iPhone and iWork document storage. Unfortunately, iDisk did not make the cut. In addition to the iCloud.com site, Apple also revealed pricing for additional storage. iCloud currently offers 5 gigabytes of free space, but users will be able to purchase 10 gigs for $20 a year, 20 gigs for $40 a year, and 50 gigs for $100 a year. In more Apple news, the company has released a new software update to its Apple TV streaming box. The $100 box can now stream purchase TV shows on demand from Apple servers and even make purchases of video content instead of just rentals. As part of the rollout, iTunes will now be able to download purchase TV episodes even if you've deleted them. Finally, Apple TV also gets Vimeo support on top of YouTube, Netflix, and Flickr. Skype released and then removed its new iPad app from the App Store, saying that the app was prematurely released. The company apologizes for the inconvenience, but wants to ensure the best Skype experience, it says. The program will reportedly allow audio and video calls over both 3G and Wi-Fi networks. Skype says it will re-release the software soon. In more tablet news, HP has released a new software update to its newly released touchpad tablet. The update is meant to address some of the criticisms of the product. The free software update improves stability, fixes bugs, and improves performance. In addition, the company dropped the price of the touchpad for a limited time. The 16 gigabyte and 32 gigabyte versions now cost $449 and $549 respectively after an instant rebate. Microsoft has ceased publishing the estimated locations of millions of mobile and Wi-Fi connected devices after a CNET article highlighted privacy concerns. Live.com's geolocation service database stored MAC addresses, which are unique and tied to individual devices. While Microsoft says that the geolocation database could not be used to track individual devices, CNET tracked an HTC mobile phone in one location to another. Microsoft and Nokia have announced a joint party on August 17th where the companies are expected to unveil the fruits of their partnership. The press is expecting to see new Nokia phones featuring the Windows Phone operating system. The companies promise an evening to remember. Those are your headlines for today. I'm Wilson Tang for CNET.com, and you've just been loaded.